Hello and welcome again to SOSH 331. I'm Dr. Walters. This brief podcast will provide you with an introduction to the perspective of the course and essential ideas from late 20th century social theorists. It will also guide you into the brief excerpt from the work of Christian Smith, What is a Person? The Vodcast lecture touches on the following topics, which we will study in more detail in the weeks to come. The course focuses on theorizing rather than simply theory, the integration of women and minorities rather than studying these as topics on the side, the concept of structuration the four levels of sociological analysis, social mechanisms, and again, what is a person using the work of Professor Christian Smith. These are very difficult times. And so I would like to begin with a quote from a letter by Macaulay College Chief Academic Officer Joseph Ugaritz, welcoming students and recognition of the challenges and obstacles all students will face this semester. This moment in history reminds me of the passage from Tolkien's The Fellowship of the Ring. When Frodo despairs, the wizard Gandalf has an answer. I wish it need not have happened in my time, said Frodo. So do I, said Gandalf, and so do all who live to see such times. But it is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. The learning objectives for SOCH 331 can be found on the syllabus. These were carefully constructed to conform both to the course description, but also to update the course content and expectations so that the substance is in tune with contemporary sociological thinking. First, while there is not complete consensus on what we should teach in an undergraduate theory course, nearly all sociologists concur that we should move away from teaching the course as a history of 19th and early 20th century sociological ideas divorced from their historical context, the great man approach. Thus, following in the steps of the generation that incorporated the work of Robert Merton and Paul Lazarsfeld, their emphasis on middle range theory into this course, the substance frames even classical theories within the parameters of the Copernican shift in sociology, starting with Swedberg and his idea of theorizing rather than theory, Coleman and his concept of theory as a theory of purposive action, focusing on the movement from individual actions to macrosociological functioning, using Giddens' idea of structuration, Neil Smeltzer's Problematics in Sociology, where he identifies four levels, and the newer work here cited as Hedstrom and Swedberg on social mechanism. Also, on the next slide, women and minorities are no longer in the margins. Women theorists are fully integrated into the course, including Dorothy Smith, Cynthia Epstein, and Kimberly K. Hoang the 2020 recipient of the Louis A. Coser Award for Theoretical Agenda Setting. Black theorists are also fully integrated, such as W.E.B. Dubois, William Julius Wilson, and especially 20th and 21st century theorist Elijah Anderson. Structuration is a central idea undergirding the course. Structuration refers to a complex set of ideas developed by British actually Oxford sociologist Anthony Giddens, advisor to Tony Blair, former prime minister of Great Britain. 
We are shaped by our social experiences, by social structures. But when we add time to our theorizing, we note that structures, that is, statuses and roles or behavioral expectations, change from time one to time two. We are shaped by, but we also shape social structures. How and why do these change? And how and why do they stay the same? Using the work of Neil Smeltzer, we identify not two levels of analysis, your custom, I think, to thinking about the macro and micro, but here we identify four levels of interaction, or four levels of sociological analysis, and look at how these interact one with the other, the global, the macro, the meso, and the micro. Another important aspect or theme in this course will be social mechanisms. This is not to discount those statistical associations that sociologists focus on as they uncover relationships among variables, but rather this is a separate or different way of thinking about causal analysis. Here, we connect the sociological levels through analysis of purposeful action, starting with observations and data at the micro level, piercing through the black box that identifies cause or causal variables on one side and outcomes on the other, we refine the model by closer articulation of the interaction and mutual effects across the levels. Finally, hidden beneath all of the sociological levels are preconceptions or preconceived ideas or assumptions about what is a person. This is something to think about. Is a person simply a rational actor seeking to maximize outcomes per the work of George Homans? Or are there other ways of thinking about a person that might disrupt some of the ongoing theorizing or theories in sociology? Here, I use Christian Smith's understanding, which may challenge some of these other conceptions. Central to Smith's idea is emergence, or the idea and reality of emergence to describe the appearance of new levels of being with new properties. These are ontological levels and not necessarily temporal developments. Smith notes that while some capacities engage only the self, most engage the self other humans, and materials. He also notes the profoundly social preconditioning and character of the, of the capacities. That is, we learn these from each other and from the world in social settings. So what is a person? The conscious, reflexive, embodied, self-transcending center of subjective experience, durable identity, and moral commitment and social communication. A person is the efficient cause of his or her own responsible actions. The person exercises complex capacities for agency and intersubjectivity in order to develop and sustain a self and loving relationships with other personal selves and with the non-personal world. You will have numerous occasions on which to call these ideas into question as we read other social theorists. While you cannot read the capacities on this slide, you can find them and the diagram on page 57 of the excerpt from Christian Smith's What is a Person?
To appreciate the substance of Soch 331, you will need to refresh your memories of what you learned or perhaps was omitted in your course in Soch 101. For that reason, you have a full week with four tries, an hour and a half each, to study concepts by working with a review quiz. I'm very much looking forward to our work together this semester, and I wish you the very best for fall 2020.